Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. A shout out to drone enthusiasts everywhere. Today we're not going to talk uh, as much about drones as we are the accessories uh, that we often use when we fly our drones. Most of us that fly drones are also trying to record other things. And one of the best tools in my toolkit is the uh, GoPro Hero 8 Black. Uh, I use that often for vlogging or for taking pictures of the drone while it's hovering and it does a good job of that. And one of the big improvements of uh, the Hero 8 over the Hero 7 is the sound quality. Uh, the Hero 8 has a mic uh, right, right front here and it does a much better job than what the Hero 7 did in recording crisp, clear audio. And that audio is important. For instance, I'm talking to you and filming with my Canon M50 right now, and I have attached to it a uh, Movo shotgun mic uh, with a windproof sock over it so that even when I'm outside in the wind, uh, you can still clearly hear what I'm saying and hear what I'm talking about when I'm flying the drone. Well, I hope to do more of that with the little Hero 8. It has a lot of advantages in that regard. So the issue is, in the wind, this front microphone can uh, catch wind noise and often can obscure the clarity of the video. So what GoPro came up with is what they call the, uh, the media mod. So let me get to the side here so you can see this. So this came in yesterday. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll pull this thing out of the box and I'll show you what it is and we'll talk about what it does. So this is what comes in the box. You get the, uh, I guess you'd call it a cage itself and then you get uh, a, a buckle and a thumb screw which is typical with most GoPro accessories they give you a buckle and thumb screw. So in order to fit the Hero 8 into the uh, media mod, you need to take the door, the battery door off the side because it needs access to that USB-C port. So you open it up like you normally would, you just keep pulling it off and this comes right off. And it snaps right back on uh, when you want to put it back together. So uh, it's just that easy, comes right off. Make sure you don't lose it because you're going to want it probably at some point. So I should point out that you have to open the side of the media mod first and it opens much in the same way as the door does, uh, the battery door on the side of the GoPro. So with the battery door open like this, it simply slides into the media mod in like that and you'll want to uh, push it in far enough that you know that that USB-C is uh, all the way in there and I guess you'll know it because that thing will snap and it'll lock down that side door. The other thing to point out is you still have uh, access to the two mounting tabs on the bottom, uh, although I'm just noticing you do kind of have to reach in there to get to those, but they're still there. Uh, <clears throat> so let's talk about what's on the media mod. Well, first off, you have two cold shoe mounts, one on the side and one on the top. So. You could potentially uh, mount a light or another external mic if you if you wanted to uh, on there. Now, uh, what I think I might end up getting is the display mod to, to go on the top. And that is a front-facing display so that when you are vlogging, you can make sure that you're centered in the frame. Although, the other, the flip side of that coin is with an action camera like this, it's such a wide angle lens that uh, it's pretty easy to capture whatever you want just by pointing it at it. But, uh, so I'm thinking about that. Uh, so the display mod, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's uh, $79.99, which is not cheap. And it's a two inch flip up screen, has its own rechargeable battery, uh, and it folds. You can fold it over the back if you'd like. Uh, so, you know, do you want to spend another 80 bucks? That's a question I'll leave for you guys. I'm not even sure I'm going to, but I, but I might. Uh, but anyway, so I digress. What else is on here? This is the shotgun mic that they're talking about. And I'm very interested to see uh, how, that, uh, how well that operates. You got on the top, obviously, your shutter button that you've always had. And then uh, on this side, You've got the uh, the power mode button that you have just on the side of the camera. 
Obviously they're just pushing through the frame onto the button on the camera. So one of the things that's probably even more important is the ports that you get on the back. You get a, a, a mini uh, HDMI port and then you get a USB-C port and then you get a three and a half millimeter uh, microphone uh, port. So uh, yeah, uh, that's would if you want to put an external microphone on there, uh, that's going to make that really easy without any other kind of adapter or anything. And like I said, you could mount it either on the cold shoe on the side here or the cold shoe on the top. The other thing that I've thought about that might be handy is uh, often when I'm flying the drone, I'm walking away from the camera, but I still want to capture audio. So potentially I could attach a wireless mic to this thing. Uh, with, uh, with a lavalier microphone, hopefully with a windproof sock on it, uh, and still capture all the audio, and it would all be synchronized with what I'm already doing. So that's kind of, that's kind of my intention uh, with the thing. All right, so we want to check out the sound quality and compare it with not only the Hero 8 without the Media Mod attached, but with my other cameras and see if we can detect uh, a difference in audio quality. So I've got, of course, the Hero 8, so we'll test that without the Media Mod attached, and then we'll attach the Media Mod to it and check out this shotgun mic, uh, but then also we'll check it up against my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Some of the best audio quality I've ever heard has come off this uh, phone when I'm out there in the field, uh, and then We'll also check it against the Hero 7 uh, as well. And then uh, I'm talking, of course, to the Canon M50 right now with the Movo shotgun mic attached. So we'll measure it against that. Uh, so what I'm going to tell you is I'm going to read probably the first three bullet points off of GoPro's own advertising for the Media Mod. And I'll read those same lines for each camera and mic variation. So starting with the Canon M50 with the Movo shotgun mic, built-in directional mic delivers crystal clear audio and reduces wind and ambient noise. Two cold shoe mounts to attach your favorite lights, mics, or LCD screens. Three and a half millimeter mic port lets you add an external mic for enhanced audio. So that's the Canon M50. Uh, let's switch over to the iPhone 11 Pro Max and see how it sounds. Okay, so this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and as you can see, it's got a little uh, wider field of view than the uh, Canon M50 does when it's shooting in 4K. But that's not what we're looking at here. And by the way, I am using the uh, front-facing camera on the uh, iPhone 11. So uh, let's go ahead and let's read the three lines, uh, the, the same three lines that we did with the uh, Canon M50. Built-in directional mic delivers crystal clear audio and reduces wind and ambient noise. Two cold shoe mounts to attach your favorite lights, mics, or LCD screens. Three and a half millimeter mic port lets you add an external mic for enhanced audio. So that's the iPhone 11. Uh, next, let's do the uh, GoPro Hero 7. Okay, so this is the GoPro Hero 7. And of course, it has a pretty wide field of view as well. And I have it in wide mode, uh, in case you're wondering why you're seeing such a wide field of view. But what we're interested in here is the sound quality. Uh, so I'm going to read those same three lines. Uh, that I read earlier with the Canon M50 and with the uh, iPhone 11. Built-in directional mic delivers crystal clear audio and reduces wind and ambient noise. Two cold shoe mounts to attach your favorite lights, mics, or LCD screens. Three and a half millimeter mic port lets you add an external mic for enhanced audio. So that's the GoPro Hero 7. Uh, and I'm quite sure you're going to be able to tell a big difference between it and the Hero 8. The Hero 8 has that front-facing mic port uh, that makes all the difference in the world. So let's switch out to the Hero 8. Okay, so this is the Hero 8 by itself. 
And I have it in linear mode in case you're wondering why it's a little bit narrower field of view than what you saw with the Hero 7. Uh, but obviously what we're interested in is the sound quality. I'm quite sure you're going to detect better sound than you heard with the Hero 7 because the Hero 8 has a really nice front-facing mic. Uh, but let's go ahead and read the th same three lines that we did with the other cameras. Built-in directional mic delivers crystal clear audio and reduces wind and ambient noise. Two cold shoe mounts to attach your favorite lights, mics, or LCD screens. Three and a half millimeter mic port lets you add an external mic for enhanced audio. So now that we've got that, and you can compare that with the other three cameras that we uh, looked at for audio quality, Let's hook the media mod up to it, and it is my hope that it is one of the best that we test here. It, my hope is that it's at least on par with the Canon M50 with the Movo mic, uh, and of course the advantage to that with that shotgun mic on the Canon M50 is it does have the windsock on it. Uh, some of the best audio I've ever got is with my iPhone 11, like I said earlier, uh, although it is not windproof. So if there's any wind at all, you get a bunch of wind noise on that mic and it and it just doesn't work. So let's put this uh, let's put this media mod on there and uh, and we'll give that a shot and we'll see how it sounds. Give me just a sec. So just to remind you, we've got the field of view set in linear mode here, and uh, we are using the media mod in stereo mode. So that there's a an opening at the back of the mic as well as the big shotgun mic uh, on the front of the uh, media mod here. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it and read those three lines. Built-in directional mic delivers crystal clear audio and reduces wind and ambient noise. Two cold shoe mounts to attach your favorite lights, mics, or LCD screens. Three and a half millimeter mic port lets you add an external mic for enhanced audio. So now I'm going to drop it back down to its kind of uh, standard uh, version of using the media mod mic, uh, but not in stereo. It will be set up for so that it is uh, windproof or wind resistant. Let's and obviously we're not going to be able to tell that here inside the house, but we may be able to tell a difference in sound quality, so let's give that a shot. So this is standard mode, and I assume that it just uses the front-facing mic then and not the uh, rear-facing mic. Uh, so, can you hopefully maybe tell a little bit of difference in sound quality, but I'm going to read those same three lines. Built-in directional mic delivers crystal clear audio and reduces wind and ambient noise. Two cold shoe mounts to attach your favorite lights, mics, or LCD screens. Three and a half millimeter mic port lets you add an external mic for enhanced audio. So that's the GoPro with just the in, in, with the media mod attached and just the standard mode with the mic front facing and reducing wind and ambient noise, as they say. So uh, let's hopefully compare that, and uh, I'm hoping that it'll sound better than with just the standard mic on the Hero 8 and have uh, a little bit of wind reduction to it. Okay, so just for the fun of it, let's put it in the rear-facing microphone mode and let's just see how that sounds. I mean, obviously, it's not going to sound as good, but it's an option on there. And I'm going to uh, read the same lines from behind the camera, and we'll see what kind of difference we can tell. Okay, so now we have the rear-facing mic on on the uh, media mod on the GoPro Hero 8. So I'll read those same three lines. Built-in directional mic delivers crystal clear audio and reduces wind and ambient noise. Two cold shoe mounts to attach your favorite lights, mics, or LCD screens. Three and a half millimeter mic port lets you add an external mic for enhanced audio. So that is the rear mic only on the media mod. 
So I'm filming this just handheld with the uh, iPhone 11 Pro, but just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what the GoPro Hero 8 looks like uh, inside the media mod here. So uh, this is the side with the uh, power button on it. And then if we move around to my left, there's the cold shoe mount. And uh, then let's look at the top here and you can see uh, the cold shoe mount on the top as well as the uh, shutter button and the microphone uh, itself, the shotgun mic that's mounted on the media mod. So this is the back side and you can see the HDMI uh, out there at the top and then a USB-C and then that three and a half millimeter microphone jack uh, as well as then the cold shoe and then so let me get in closer here and see if you can see the holes for that rear facing mic. So you can see that it can uh, also, that microphone can hear out the back as well. I think that's a neat feature that they added on there. Hey, okay everybody. Uh, so you've had a chance to listen to the different uh, audio samples off the different versions of the mics. Uh, and I was kind of surprised at some of my own conclusions. Uh, I've been hooked them all, downloaded all that footage to my computer, and I was able to listen to every one of them. And like I said, a couple of them surprised me. Now, what was no surprise at all uh, was I think for sure in last place was the uh, GoPro Hero 7. The sound quality was uh, just definitely not up to par with the rest of them. Now, uh, in the next one up kind of surprised me. So uh, I've got it in my pocket here. Uh, I thought it was kind of a tie between the iPhone 11 uh, Pro and the Hero 8 without the media mod uh, attached to it. I think they were very comparable. I thought the iPhone was a little bit boomy. Of course next would be the Hero 8 with the media mod attached to it. Now the stereo was okay. I thought the best sound was from the front facing mic and the rear facing mic. It, it was very very subtle though. I think in any of those modes uh, the sound quality was really good. And then the Canon M50 with the Movo shotgun mic on it is probably the best although it's really close. Uh, this shotgun mic on the front of the uh, Hero 8 Media Mod is really good. So between that and the Canon, I don't know, you're really uh, slicing the hair pretty thin. So uh, I, I really probably, not knowing which was which, I'm not sure I could tell the difference. Uh, but uh, some good sound. I, I think really the only one that I would call unacceptable uh, was the sound that came off of the uh, Hero 7. I mean it works, uh, but it's just not the quality that you would otherwise like. Uh, so anyway, take that for what it's worth. Uh, again, we're looking at the uh, media mod for the uh, uh, GoPro Hero 8 Black uh, with the shotgun mic on the front. Again, uh, looking at the uh, various outputs on the back, you got the uh, HDMI out and you've got a USB-C and a three and a half millimeter mic mount, which would come in handy as well. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helped you decide whether you wanted to add the media mod with your uh, GoPro Hero 8 or not. Uh, so hey. Hey, so one more thing. So I noticed on the Canon M50, when I was reviewing the footage upstairs, uh, the autofocus kind of struggled when it's in 4K mode like it is now. Uh, there were a couple times that it was downright out of focus. And I'd heard that before, uh, but definitely that's uh, something with the M50. It does a lot better in 1080p. The autofocus tends to work pretty good, uh, but definitely in 4K mode, uh, not as good as it otherwise uh, could be, but the sound from that mobile mic was, was good stuff. At any rate, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter channel out, 
And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And we absolutely will see you on the next one. And uh, yeah, I hope this uh, helped you uh, kind of make a decision about the uh, media mod for the GoPro Hero 8.